Duncan has talent. This is our second day of the dance competition. As I understand it, there's 13 contestants. Those 13 contestants are going to do their second piece each. They're actually going to have some time spent with the mentorship to have a little thing after each one so they can find out how to improve it. And here comes the fun part. I think tonight, before everyone leaves, do we announce who's going to be coming back tomorrow night? Oh, no! This is the part that the judges don't... Oh, sorry, the mentors do not like. Now, the one thing for the kids to remember, and, and for the adults, mostly for the adults, this is not about how good the kid is or how good the, the, the performer is on stage. It's about whether or not they can accept direction. Because when they go into the real world as a dancer, and they go to start off, it's not just about them, it's about the whole troupe. And, and they have mere seconds to make things work. And if you can't adapt to what the, to what the boss wants, it goes to the next person in line, the job. So you got, this is all part of that whole mentorship, is making sure that you you can take a direction and understand who it is that's going to be your mentor, who's going to be the one that's going to make the decisions. doesn't mean that you have to kissy face and all that. Don't bring apples. We don't accept apples. <laughs> Just do it on the best performance you can and listen up to what's being said to you. Just talking about how it's a great interpretation of Tim clearing a floor. Yes. This is a... Uh, our first contestant. Woo, <laughs> Tim! <laughs> Look, she does the fly. Every year, Tim does the fly. One of these times, you know. <laughs> Every year. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, Ted Cadillac. Without that gentleman, I wouldn't be able to pull this off, ladies and gentlemen. He's very good at doing what he does. He's a great sound tech, and he makes sure that the kids get every opportunity they can. To work with the best plausible production that we can put forward. But then again, remember, we are under duress. It is a short period of time, but we do get it done. I'm going to turn this over now. You know what, John? I was thinking about something you said yesterday about Hope King. And I remember all those years ago when we first met Hope over at the City Square. And it was myself and two other judges, and I can't remember who it was back in the day. I think Les Broadway might have been one of them. Mm -hmm. And we were sitting there watching this little girl and giving her advice on how to improve her craft and then to watch her final performance and to watch her win it and then to watch her here yes. as an artist it's really cool um how we can watch these these folks grow and and that's one thing i like about Duncan has talent is some of these kids we've seen for for a few years now and to watch them grow um you know both you know growing up as children but also growing in their, their growing kids. in their children field it's really quite good to see that well, and they're taking advice, and they're also walking forward, and you know. Yeah, and their gifts that they're sharing with us, um, and just showing us who they are, and and it's just really inspiring for me as a dancer to know that dances, future dances in Saint Hans, these kids are amazing. I mean, I just can't wait to watch as they grow. Well, you're gonna have to wait like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna start in reverse order today. So whoever was number 13, which would be Cassidy, she'll start first. Um, we're also going to be watching carefully because some of the critiques we gave you guys yesterday will also probably go through till today. So think about everything we said yesterday uh, because we're going to be looking to see if you took that mentorship in your performance today. We're also looking for connection with the audience. So you guys pay attention, know that we're here, and we want to connect with you. We want the, the performance that you do to go right into us. So um, we're looking for performers who know they're performing for somebody, not just perfect craft of the dance. So good luck, and we'll begin today with Cassidy. Hi, my name is Cassidy, and today I will be doing a modern piece called Still Got It, Doris. Ha 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 
I love that. What a great contrast piece for your other one. And you showed us another whole side of yourself, which is wonderful. We, we kind of waited a long time to make contact with you this time. You weren't looking at us for a very long time, and I just wanted that connection to happen a little sooner. There's one other thing. There's a section of the music where there's a lot of breaking glass. Yes. Can you do something really sharp with that? I can try. <laughs> yeah. It just it, it felt like it needed that to be used a little bit more. Okay. But other than that, fantastic, and I love that you had so much fun with it. Thank you. I really like that too. And wow, you were so deep and powerful to fun and, and light and airy today. It was really great. Um, I too, I was thinking to myself, mm, she's got her back to us. But how can we fix that? No problem. Just every once in a while, because you're so sassy in this number, just slowly bring your head around to give us okay. that. You know what I mean? Just to give us that look. I loved your face, but then I wanted more. And I'm thinking, okay. wow. Like, because, you know, yesterday you were so. <laughs> and then today you were everywhere. Okay. Uh, face was great. Okay. Make it more. Because okay. it'll just it'll just tie the whole thing up. But well done. Thank Good job. you. <laughs> awesome. Um, hi, I'm Natalie. I'm twelve years old. I've been dancing for nine years. And I'll be dancing to Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Lord. because we can't see you. You didn't use the front third of the stage once. Please, please, please. I know it may feel scarier if you're up towards the edge, but honestly, all the expression in the world doesn't work if we can't see it. You were too far back on that stage again, okay? You're lovely, by the way, Natalie. Thank you. Um, watch your beat, so in the beginning, if you're given a, a movement to hit that beat, gotta make sure you do hit that beat, okay? Um, that's just the one big thing that always gets me is when you've got a big dramatic movement that's hitting that beat, you miss it. Just, so just make sure you practice that, okay? Um, also, in the beginning, 
Now this next might be something you can play with. So the chair is obviously something you use all the time. And I'm a big props person. I love, love props. So maybe think about how you can move that chair to the center of the stage. And so if you're running, you now have something to run around. Because I know you've already condensed it. Cause did you do this in music festival? Did you do this dance in music festival? No. No? Okay. So. I, I just thought maybe if you had condensed it a bit, but still, maybe playing with it and putting that chair right dead center of the stage, then that'll give you an opportunity to be able to use that chair more than you already were. And that may give us some really big dynamics to this and may change up the whole look of your number in a really cool way. Okay? So maybe give that a try. Okay. Thank okay, thanks, you. honey. Hi, my name is Lily Killam. I'm 11 years old, and I'm going to be doing a tap solo called Bag Lady. to run after all that tap. Nice to see and hear some tap, and we could really hear ya. <laughs> so that was great. What I want you to do, though, is go home and look at the words to the song, because I'm not seeing the words to the song on your face, okay? okay. There's a whole story that's being told, and, and we had kind of one smile most of the way through. It changed a little now and then, but, they, but the words have more to them than that. So let's, let's see it on your face. Okay, thank you. Okay, my favorite type of dance. Thank you, Miss Lily. Um, so your, your tap sounded great, but you've got some missed opportunities there because it's this music's really slow for you, hey? Yeah. Oh, it was, and there's so much repetition over and over and over. So take some opportunities. So, you know, you, you've repeated something and you do like a bit of a stop. Maybe, maybe give a pose or something, or, um, okay. and maybe, maybe some more definitive arms. Because your arms were, were just kind of swinging a bit. Yeah. So maybe maybe show it up a little bit. It's too bad this music is so slow because if that had been sped up, 
I would have loved to have seen what you had done with it. And and especially with the reputation. So maybe instead of keeping them in the same place, maybe travel a little bit or but just so that it doesn't seem like you're stuck. Did you yeah. feel stuck? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, you looked really stuck. And from one tap dancer to another, wow. So so try to take advantage of those pieces and you know, you know, you're you're, you're kind of in the middle of the stage there for a second for life. Maybe the steps gone out of my head. But when you did a stop, you know, like maybe even go right down in your knees. Like just get down into your feet some more because I know you're just so tall and beautiful. Try and get more into your feet because tap is it's a, a dance that's into your feet. So try and get into your feet more, and then you'll be able to pull those those pieces, those sassy pieces out of you to be able to do that. Good job, Lily. Thank you. Hi, my name is Laura Killam. I'm 13 years old, and today I will be doing my musical theater piece, piece called Make Them Laugh. Though the world is so full of a number of things, I'm sure we should all be as happy as... But are we? No. Definitely no. Positively no. Decidedly no. Uh-uh. Short people have long faces. And long people have short faces. Big people have little humor, and little people have no humor at all. And in the words of that immortal god, Samuel J. Snodgrass, as he was about to be led to the guillotine, Make him laugh, make him laugh, don't you know everyone wants to laugh? Ha <laughs> ha! My dad said be an actor, my son, but be a comic bull one now be standing in line, for those old hunky tongue monkey shines. Shakespeare and be quite elite And you can charm the critics and have nothing to eat Just slip on a banana, peel the world at your feet Make a laugh, make a laugh, make a laugh Make a make a laugh Don't you know everyone wants to laugh? My grandma said go out and tell him a joke But give it plenty of hope Make a roar, make him scream Take a fall, but a wall split a scene you start off by pretending you're a dance with grace You wiggle till they're giggling all over the place And then you get a great big custard pie in the face Make a laugh, make a laugh, make a Okay, what a fun piece. What a fun piece. One thing I want to commend everybody on, your your second pieces have been tremendous contrasts to your first one. The ones, and that's, that's part of entertaining too. That's a great thing to do. Now, the only thing I would say, and it, it's, it's a great song. We got a lot more out of your face. The title is Make Them Laugh, and I didn't see one laugh. You made me smile a lot. A lot, but see if you can actually work some laughter in there somewhere, okay? Because we will take our cue from you. You can do things like cross your eyes, and that can be very funny. So use it, you know, use your eyes more. But good work, thank you. Thank you. You know, we're on the same track today. Because I'm like, Laura, crack yourself up. <laughs> you gotta crack yourself up. Okay. Like you do. Like you're trying to make these people laugh, but are you cracking yourself up? No. Okay. I, I want you. Like you just. You, is there something about grandpa in there? You know, and, and whatever. Kind of make yourself laugh. Like, oh, I'm gonna make them laugh. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's because it's gonna just add that much more to something that was really fun to watch. I really enjoyed this with you. Um, but I want you to crack yourself up. 
So okay. in all of these different phrases, there's actually little cues, and you know me and looking at words and trying to figure out little pieces. Look at your words, and then just, just find those little pieces where you can just totally crack yourself up. Okay. Because that'll crack us up that you've cracked yourself up. So in some of the best comedians in the world, when they crack themselves up, and you see it's on bloopers all the time, mm -hmm. that's what really, really captures an audience, is yeah. when they're so funny that they crack themselves up and they have to catch themselves. So do that, because this number is already there. The base is there. Now crack yourself up and just, just take it right to where it's going to go. Okay. All right, good job, kiddo. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Katrina. I'll be doing a different version of Irish dancing today. I am wearing hard shoes, they have fiberglass bottoms. Um, I've been dancing for 15 years with the O'Brien School of Irish Dance, and today I'll be dancing to Believer by Imagine Dragons. Expression with your arms. I'd like to see even more with your face. Okay. So you know it needs to internalize those words so that you can you can do that. Um, 
there are places where the lyrics say things like fire and flames, and I wanted something to happen with that. Even if it was that you tossed that amazing hair, you know? <laughs> but beautiful, beautiful dancing. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I was pretty excited. So, um, the drum. So I'm a big props person, as I've mentioned a million times this week. <clears throat> You, I know you used it and you were sitting in the chair, and then you stood up and you held it, but you didn't do anything with it. And I'm wondering if you can. That's a good point. Yes, and you kind of stood there with it, you danced with it, but you didn't do anything with it. Right. And I'm wondering... You're stealing her spotlight. <laughs> and I'm wondering if there's something that you can do with it. Because I... When you were sitting in the chair and I was watching your feet and I was thinking, wow, wow, like that was that was impressive. Um, and then when you started to loosen up a little bit and take yourself a little out of your traditional training and yeah, I'm with Laura, loosen right up. Because um, I think this number, this this music and the way you, you did this was beautiful, but I want to see what else you can do with that drum because you started this, you brought it on stage. Uh, <laughs> So, no, no, mental note, right? <laughs> and because we've seen you dance before, we're going to challenge you harder. And I would love to see what you could do with that drum. So if you're going to stand up with it, I want to see you somehow incorporate it. Absolutely get rid of it because that would just, you know, take away your beautiful arms and everything else. And then you did this little sly kind of sexy thing once. And it was beautiful and you did it just once. If you could do it a little bit more, that would just, that would take this number over the top. Perfect. Thank you. Just the drum, we, we really couldn't hear it, you know? We could see that you were playing it and you had to really strain. Is there a mallet or something you could strike it with? Is it some kind of a striker? Because it really, it really isn't strong enough just with your hand, I don't think. Okay, the point was just I was actually doing my dance that I did with my feet with oh. my hands on here. Right, right. Oh, cool, okay. Oh, just okay. So you know. <laughs> cool. Okay, it was just very hard to hear. Right. Yeah, I don't actually drum. Okay. <laughs> it was a prop. It was a prop. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hi, my name's Sabrina. I'm 15 years old, and I'm going to be doing a uh, dance into a song called Skinny Love that I choreographed by myself. <laughs>
Okay, nice job. Doing your own choreography is a really challenging thing, isn't it? Do you suddenly find out how very, very long a song is? <laughs> yeah, I thought there were a few of your mo movements that didn't quite work, although it was mostly quite beautiful. So, um, and, and let your face change more. You don't want it to be the same expression through a whole song. Okay. Let it follow the words. Okay, thank you. So the one thing um, dancers portray so well is the feeling of music, because we, we feel our music. And, and if we don't, we should be. We should be able to feel the pain as we tell the story and take people on the journey. And so, even oh, and be careful of your face when you made a mistake. I knew yeah. it. <laughs> Nobody else here would have known, sweetie, except for you. But you let everybody know that it was like, oh, that was, like, that was really cute. But you have to take us on a journey. And as you feel it, you'll feel those different emotions. So your face will naturally change. And you know, you hear the phrase, you get lost in dance. And it's so true. You get lost in the music, you get lost in your dance. And that's sometimes how we as dancers break our connection with our audience, because we get so in depth into what we're doing and what we're feeling that we sometimes forget that we're actually performing for others, right? So make sure you, you get more into, um, into your music and, and feel it more, and then everything else will smooth out, because there were some rough edges in there. Yeah, um, I forgot some of my moves, so I started doing an improv, because I forgot what to do. And that's okay. Thank you for keeping going. That is not easy, is it? No. So just just smooth it out and then and feel it. But if you don't feel it, like if you don't understand what the words are telling you, then find out what they are. Okay, and it's always a search, you know, when you're when you're searching for music as a choreographer, I know I I won't choreograph certain numbers for kids because I can't dance them alone. If I can't dance them alone, I'm not gonna give them anything that's worthwhile giving. So for the same for you, like when you're in your search, if you don't understand or you're not feeling that you can give that feeling, then go on to your next piece. Okay, but good job. And, hey, how old are you again? Fifteen. So fifteen years old, keep going, young lady. Thank you. Hi, I'm Carlo. I'm 15. I've been dancing for four years at Carlson's School of Dance, and I'm doing my duo funkinometry without my duo partner. Let me know your soul. 
Call before you come, I need to shave my chop. It's so what you don't know, you're well, I won't Go downtown and eat it like a bone shot. See my hips, big hips, so hot. See my butts and my lips don't stop. Lost a few pounds in my waist, go out. This the kind of beat that goes by. We are so lucky this young man came to dance for us today. He's very ill, so give him another hand. Give him another hand. That was amazing under those circumstances. <laughs> Carlo, thank you for coming today. I know it was hard to do. Now listen, don't get stuck on the back of the stage, okay? Because it's your lights. We lose your, we lose, you're not lit anymore back there. Um, yeah, okay, I'll, yeah. So I'm gonna make this quick because you look like you really need to leave. Um, you know that little feminine piece that you have? You know, you're, I want it way bigger. I want a bigger contrast. And I just started laughing so I saw it. I said, oh, you left the door open for me today. So I want you to work those contrasts. That's all I'm going to say. Please go home. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tamara. I'm 12 years old. And I am dance at Carlson School of Dance. And today I'm going to be doing a modern stage piece, which I also choreographed myself. And it is called My New Philosophy. Oh yeah? That's what you think. What? That's my new philosophy. Oh yeah? That's what you think. Well, why are you telling me? What? Why are you telling me? Why are you telling me? I like it! That's a good philosophy. Why are you telling me? Why are you telling me? Why are you telling me? practice Chopin's Nocturne in B-flat minor. No! I like it! No! <laughs> That's a good philosophy. No! 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 That's your new philosophy, huh? Yes! I mean, no! Just like a busy bee, each new philosophy can fly from tree to tree and keep me moving when life's a dizzy maze on alternating days. not live by bread alone. Some philosophies are clear. Leave your message at the sound of the tone. Some, Some philosophies we can choose, deciding what goes in it. it. Some take a lifetime. Mine take a minute. But Sally, anything that takes only a minute can't be very lasting. For instance, Beethoven took over two years to complete his brilliant Ninth Symphony. No! I can't stand it! I can't
That is one of my favorite songs. If I have a really good kind of sassy voice student, I give them that song and it's a challenge and a half just to sing it, let alone do what you did with it. What a wonderful interpretation of it. Your face was great. The and and you didn't miss, you didn't mouth the wrong part you stayed in the part you were supposed to be in which is great and not easy to do when you're singing through the whole length of a song like that i thought this was superb I, at the end though when the other kids are going help it's my last 24 hours or whatever like that i thought you could do something really crazy with that and it's like you're making fun of them not like you're saying it do you know what i mean you were just very, very still through that part, and it was unexpected after all your other stuff. So, fantastic job. Thank you. I loved it. <laughs> yep. Sometimes you don't need a pile of dance moves to make a really cool musical theater number. Sometimes simple, clean, and precise is just as good as difficult, and almost clean and almost precise. And for me, like I'm thinking, gosh, I wish we had a musical right now going on that we could throw that into, that you could come and teach choreography to, because that is a great number. Um, you didn't miss a lot. I agree with Laura at the end. You could have played with that a little bit more. Um, yeah, and uh, we've been saying to everybody, keep us connected, keep us connected, keep us connected. So imagine my surprise when you came right up Put your hands on this table and laid into us before the number started. That was, oh, you got us there, kiddo. You took all the mentorship we were saying. So, well done. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Kahari, and um, I'm nine years old, and I'm going to do a piece called Where'd You Go? Okay, I can hardly wait to see what you're doing in 10 years, because you're amazing. 
You're amazing. That was a lot of fun to watch, and you're, you're keeping your face alive. Once in a while, your arms aren't quite as strong as they could be, but, but very nice work. Thank you. Thank you. You're so fun to watch, but you concentrate too much. Got to get out of your head. You just got to get out of your head. You just got to let what happens going to happen because, let's face it, this is live. There's no <laughs> editing. There's no nothing else. Just go up there. Just have fun. But now you've got to work on the next level, and that's selling it, presenting it. So you're starting to get moves. You're quite the little dancer, by the way. So now you got to figure out how to sell it. So like your friend Carlo, you know, with the face and pulling some of that together, a little bit of sass, because I can, I can almost imagine that you could do that in that bigger volume, okay? So keep working really hard. Congratulations, you're quite the young, young person. Good job. So John, before we start, there was two dancers that couldn't come back today that really was, it was kind of sad. And I'd like to talk about um, Owen Hogg to start with. That young man, um, he really impressed Laura and I yesterday. We were really bummed he didn't have a second number. We really hope that Owen comes back next year and does this again, because that young man had a boatload of talent. And we were really excited to see where he was going to go. And um, because he didn't have a second piece, he didn't come back today. And so we were really sad to see that Owen didn't come back. And then, of course, there was our little putting on the Ritz girl. She was pretty adorable. We were really looking forward to seeing what she had. But she couldn't come back today either. So we just wanted to make sure we acknowledged those two dancers because they deserve the acknowledgement. Yes, OK, we can have all our dancers up front right now. We know what we're going to do. Okay, by the way, just to let everybody know, as I, I was watching this and watching every one of them come out and having an audience to dance to. I mean, this, the winning that they're getting right now is they're getting to dance in front of people that are here to watch them perform. And that's, that's a win-win situation for them and for us because we get to watch it and they get to perform in front of an appreciative audience. So, how are you going to do this? Oh, we got it. We, we got to plan this year because we've been doing this long enough that we are not walking over there and, and no. Okay. So, we got a new system this year. Okay. <laughs> which we figured, John, if you would let us do it again next year, we'll do it better next year. <laughs> do, do, do you have an escape route? <laughs> no, we don't. Just making sure. So, today we had decided to watch to see if you took what we were saying to everybody else yesterday. Do you know what I mean? So if we said, you know, look at the audience or connect with the audience or face or do this or do that or energy or everything that we said yesterday, we wanted to watch today to see if anybody was listening to what we were saying to you guys, but to everybody else. Um, so in that way of thing, because you guys aren't performing the mentorship that we've asked you to change until tomorrow when you perform both your numbers. So we decided that we wanted to see if you took any kind of mentorship from yesterday. So based on today's performance from what we said yesterday, we have five that will be returning tomorrow. Five? Five. Now Ooh. this is the hard part. This is awesome. the hard part. And I want to just comment on the caliber of the dance we had this year. Oh, yeah. You guys were amazing. Could we please give all of these dancers another round? Yeah. Okay. Now, tomorrow you will need to perform both of your pieces. We'll do not all at once. One through and then the other through all five of you. And the dancers we would like to see tomorrow for the finals are Tamara Mitchell, <laughs> Carla Rush, <laughs> Katrina Van Boven, Alora Killam and Cassidy Baudry. And thank you so much to all of you. Keep dancing. Anything can happen another year. So you littler ones, we want to see you again. Bye. Okay, see you tomorrow, you five. guys all deserve the biggest applause. Now, we sent Carlo home and he said, 
Yeah, but I had to see the rest of them. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's the job I didn't want to do. See, we have a plan. I know you have a plan. And part of it is for all those that did dance, trust me, the caliber this year was extremely high, extremely high. Not that last year wasn't good, but this year you upped the game even more than we thought could possibly happen. You do make the job very difficult. Do remember as you're leaving that there is a donation jar there, and that's how we keep this going each and every year. It's by the donations that we receive. Those who get to move forward, congratulations. Those who don't get to move forward, do not think that you didn't do well, please. And to let you know that if any of those dancers tonight who didn't get on to the next round, if you want to come and dance on August 7th, we have the, the Duncan Has Talent winners, and we also have a chance uh, for the other people who are involved to come out and demonstrate what it is they do. So if there's any of you who didn't go further today but want to dance one more time, you have that opportunity. One more year. Thank you. August 7th, noon hour. Do get a hold of me and let me know if you want to be a part of that.